folks, my next guest is the editor in chief of Vanity Fair. Please welcome Radhika Jones. <laughs> Nice to see you again. Thanks for having me. We Sarah. had an opportunity to meet once uh, once before. Yes. I came right. down and talked to your, your your folks. We had a lovely time. You interviewed me. Yes. Tables have turned. That's right. Okay, gloves are coming off, Jones. I'm ready. I'm ready. How long have you been the editor in chief it's of Vanity Fair? It's been a little over a year. One year. Okay. Wow. Well, that's a huge uh, job in the publishing industry. It's it's still one of the most vital you know uh, periodicals that we have left in yes. America. Thank you and for saying that. It is. It's. It's really. No. It's. It's really. It sort of defies expectations. It's still sort of a. It's a relevant, even though the internet sort of has swallowed everything. Um, of course, every year there's the uh, Hollywood issue that Vanity Fair puts out, and of course, it's always a lot of fun to see who ends up on the cover. There's this year is. Uh, it's people are calling this year's cover. Let me get out some. It's got a fold out right here. Let me get all of this. Look at all these people. People are calling this cover. People are liking this year. They're calling this cover pure sex. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's rare as an editor when your intention comes across so clearly. Um, <laughs> How I'm, pure was so the sex? Grateful. How pure <laughs> was the sex here? I want to tell you, can I tell you a little story? Sh sure. I, it, was, it was really hot on set. So, and hot, I mean, like I'm, hot, I like I mean they're hot people ways. or physically hot? So there hot. were many hot people on the set. Sure. Uh, we were shooting in downtown L.A., and we worked with an amazing cinematographer to make this picture. He actually made a film. It was all film, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to really step it up. It's our 25th annual Hollywood issue. Um, and we thought, what could be better than to pair up with a, uh, a three-time Academy Award-winning cinematographer? Um, so we were shooting in this theater in downtown L.A., all these different little sort of evocative rooms and locations, and we were shooting the third panel um, of the cover you just showed, which has Tessa Thompson and Elizabeth Debicki, John David Washington, and Henry Golden. And you see that Tessa and Elizabeth, they're, they're doing this like Michelangelo move. You know, it's very, it was, it was pretty steamy in the room. It was like, there, everyone was moving, and there was a great sexy energy in the room, and it was getting warm, and it was getting warm, and then all of a sudden, it was really warm, and we heard this whoosh, and the sprinkler system went off. <laughs> so, which was not in the plan. So that everybody... That is really good for these actors and actresses. They could say, how hot are you? They had to call the fire department. So, <laughs> that's right. So the fire department, in fact, showed up and got their picture taken with Tessa Thompson. Is this... Now, please tell and, me that's uh, in the magazine, too. It is in that the magazine. That is just... It's that in the is... So... <laughs> In, 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 as I was saying, in our changing media landscape, where so many periodicals are sort of struggling to survive, Vanity Fair still has uh, 1.2 million subscribers. Mm -hmm. What? Why do you think it is still so vital? What am I going to Vanity Fair for? If I'm going to, you know, food and wine, I'm learning about food and wine. If I'm going to Bon Appetit, I want to make my food appetizing. If I'm going to Sports <laughs> Illustrated, I want sports. What is Vanity Fair's place in our culture? Do you think? So, Vanity Fair, when it really like came into its own in the 1980s. It was a magazine about the zeitgeist, and it was kind of about high and low. It was like you could go there for sophistication, and you could go there for scandal. And the idea was that we were telling all these stories um, about power and personality and where those things mix. And what I feel is, this is sort of the DNA of the brand, this is the perfect moment for that mix because everything is kind of all mixed up. We have a reality TV star in the White House. We have major social and political activism in... Hollywood. We have a Hollywood actor who's now a member of the royal family in Britain. It's like all these worlds are colliding. And Vanity Fair is a zeitgeist magazine that kind of brings the intersection of them to you. And it's true. Subscriptions are up and our audience is growing and it feels really good to well, be... One of the things that every year that goes with... Besides the, the, Holly, the Hollywood issue where you sort of put in here who you think are, are the the face of the future of Hollywood right now. There's also the Vanity Fair Oscar party, mm -hmm. which I um, have be... never been invited to. I've never been invited are, to. Are, you are so invited. I don't invited. really want to. I don't you think really... I didn't check before I came? You are so invited. Um, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it on a weeknight? Take a, uh, no, it Sunday week? night. It's Sunday, Sunday night? night? Yeah. Oh, right after the Oscars. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll be there. You should come. <laughs> 
It's really What's it fun. like to host that? Is it is it it's fun? So much fun. Is this so, your is this your first year hosting it? So I no, I hosted last year. Okay. Um, I was very new to the job, so it was it was thrilling, um, and and it was uh, what I learned is that if you are going to spend eight hours on your feet in high heels and a, and a corseted dress, mm -hmm. um, eventually you want to sit down. Um, sure. And I noticed as I looked around the room like six hours in that all the furniture was lounge furniture. So when you're in a corset, you're kind of like, uh, you know, and I was like, I can't bend my knees. I don't think I can get down to that furniture. No, so, you need a block and tackle to actually so bring somebody down like there. Right. So the party was perfect in every way except I made this one note, which is I want some bar stools. So we're going to have bar stools this year. That's is this because it was men running the party before you got there? I mean, draw your own conclusions, you know? <laughs> I just did. <laughs> I just did. Radhika, thank you so much for being here. The Vanity Fair Hollywood Issue is available now. Radhika Jones, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Django Gold.